Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo, episode 22. So, you may remember in the previous episode, we notably completed the US Japanese, sorry, the Anglo Japanese Sports Car Championship, and I did it using the TBR Griffith. And so, just before we officially get into further details, First off, I need to wash the Griffith. Just to make it nice and clean. So, I've now won the Anglo-Japanese Sports Car Championship three times, and so since I figured of course I was needing to do some grinding, this is precisely what I'm going to do. So, I won myself another Honda CRX Del Sol LM edition, and well, what I'm going to do now is sell it. And price value only 12 grand, but again, I have put myself through much worse. But, anyways. So yeah, just going to do that, just so I can get a little bit of extra dosh. And so, I am now going to switch to my Camaro Z28 30th Anniversary. So, going to switch to the Camaro, and we're going to head down here to Chevrolet. And we, of course, are officially going to do some serious tuning. Because since I've now got some cash, this is essentially the car I am going to be using for the fifth A-Class event that we officially had to do in this game. No, I'm not doing that. Well, having a look through... I will do that though, just to give me a reasonable amount of power. Yeah, fuck it, why not? As of which, there are two things about this next event. So yeah, just doing that. Really nice. And yeah, I think I'll be okay from the power side of things. And, of course, I'm officially going to do everything else that I need to do. So, gonna put on the racing suspension, along of course with the racing stabilizers, front and rear. And, of course, I am going to upgrade all parts of the transmission as well. So, just gonna put on my first two stages of weight reduction. And now, of course, I'm officially going to put on the racing modification. And so, this car is only available in two colours, unfortunately. It's only available in white and piss. And well, I think just because white with the red, with the red stripes, is a bit more, you know, appropriate, I think I'm just going to do that. So, racing mods now installed, and now we get to do the final thing of our upgrades. And that, of course, is tyres. And since I do have enough money to purchase these racing soft tyres, that is precisely what I'm going to do. So 
So, I don't think I need anything else in terms of power, so I think I'll be okay. But anyways, it is now time for us to head to our fifth A-Class event, as well as also being our third and final regional event of this game. The Anglo-American Sports Car Championship. British sports cars versus American sports cars. So, five races, Trial Mountain Reverse, Special Stage Route 5, High Speed Ring, Grand Valley East Reverse, and Special Stage Route 11, as are most of the other championships. Where they officially conclude. At least that's where the final races are held for most of these championships. So, three grand if we can get a pole position, 20 grand if we can win the championship, and also 10 grand if we can win a race. So, it's actually overall, like the two previous events, the perfect amount of money you can officially win from this event is about 85 grand. Excuse me. And also, because I know very well that essentially I'm wanting to be a jack of all trades, I figured of course that essentially an American sports car was the one regional car I had not I have not yet driven in this game for these regional championships, and well, subsequently overall I'm officially going to put that right. Because it is now time for the Anglo American Sports Car Championship. And I, of course, am doing it for America. And also to anyone asking, yes, this is basically the Amer yes, this is basically the American Revolution all over again. And I, of course, am going to try my hardest to win it for America. So these are the cars we are up against. As we, as we have got a Chevy Corvette, a Dodge Viper RT10, a TBR Cerbera, an Aston Martin DB7 Coupe, and also another Chevy Camaro Z28 in this event. So, we are now going to head into qualifying and we shall see how we go from there. I believe it's possible I can put myself in a promising position. Let's head to Quali. In the end of qualifying here at Trial Mountain Reverse, as I have officially managed to qualify third for this race, but subsequently overall it is officially an all-American front row, whilst I of course essentially have both the Brits right behind me, and also the other Camaro is in last. As that is pretty much the starting order for this race. But again, I did of course, once again, run wide on my qualifying lap, and essentially overall, I was very surprised to know that I'd only really dropped down to as low as third in that qualifying run, so... If I'm up to it, I probably will go for another qualifying run, but if I qualify last, then essentially I'm just going to avoid it. But anyways, here is your starting grid for the first race. So the Chevrolet Corvette is on the pole ahead of the Dodge Viper RT10, and then it is me in third ahead of the TBR Cerbera, then it is the Aston Martin DB7 Coupe, rounded off and rounded off by the other Chevrolet Camaro Z28 who was last. So let's head to race one of the Anglo-American Sports Car Championship and hopefully I can win three out of four races for America! Which is essentially what I'm planning to do. Why, of course, I wanted to use the Camaro? Well, because I wanted to. 
Also, because, as I said before, I am wanting to be a jack of all trades with these regional championships, because then I will officially know that I have notably got all the experience I need in order to officially acquire victory in this championship and to hopefully win both of the prize cars as is essentially my usual ambition but anyways so on the first lap I'm already opening up a cushion to the Corvette it's essentially a Chevy 1-2 at the moment so GM pretty much leads this race ahead of Dodge and then it is TBR followed by Aston Martin and then the other Chevy Camaro is in last and I just hit the bank but at the very least I do manage to stay on track this time considering that was precisely the area where I went off on my qualifying run and essentially overall that was probably what prevented me from clenching the pole but anyways so onto the second lap we are now heading through the first tunnel on the reverse course So, two tunnels down, one remaining, through what I can probably describe as being a hairpin, before we head on to the final straightaway, and wow, I have already got an enormous margin to the core of that. Fucking hell, that margin is massive. That is probably the clearest away in any race I have officially been. Or one of the clearest, I should say. But anyways. So, as I said before with the Anglo-Japanese Sports Car Championship, I did of course manage to eventually score the perfect 45 points. And well, the way I'm going now, it's almost certainly probable that I will be likely to reprise that perfect score. And must I know, for some reason, I very much characteristically make, make my best championship runs look absolute, absolutely redundant. But anyways, I have already got a fairly sizable lead over the Corvette, as it is victory for the 30th anniversary Corvette, sorry, for the 30th anniversary Camaro. Yeah, I don't know why I said the Corvette, but anyways, yeah. So... It is officially a 1-2 in this race for America and then it is the TBR Cerbera ahead of the Viper and then it is the DB7 ahead of the other Camaro. So things of course at the moment are already going well. Essentially for General Motors. Because we are essentially 1st, 2nd and 6th. Don't think I'm going to save a replay just yet. But I may very well save a replay here if I feel like it. But anyways. I think I shall attempt qualifying again to 
see if I can put this car on the pole and if I don't then I'm just not going to bother with qualifying for the rest of this championship, essentially. Let's see how we go. This qualifying run has pretty much signified that essentially overall I think qualifying in my mind is probably just a waste of time and I have officially decided I'm not going to even attempt qualifying for the rest of this championship because I qualified fourth. Less than a second off the pace of the Corvette. But anyways, I did manage to set myself a qualifying time at least. But again, because I essentially fucked up near the end of the lap when I thought for sure I was going to be in a good position, I inevitably qualified pretty much well off the time of pole position. But anyways, let's go to race 2 and try not to make the mistake of attempting to qualify again. Because I of course have now learned my lesson to not, to not qualify for a race if I know very well I am going to be at least less than a second off the pace. But anyways, qualifying pace doesn't really matter that much. But well, as for race pace, that is a different story. And why I just let off the throttle there, I have no idea. But anyways. So through lap one, sliding our way past the clock tower, as we now head into the hairpin, keeping it all relatively smooth, and well, fortunately for me at least, this Camaro is definitely, is definitely handling better than my TVR was, because surprisingly, I actually feel, I actually feel like I can keep this car under control for once in my life, and not just because of its weight. I mean, weight probably is a factor, but again, I'm not officially going to say it's a contributing factor as to how I'm able to keep this car on the ground, because I could still, because I could still make a catastrophic mistake, which oddly enough to me is now, oddly enough, becoming pretty much characteristic of me. I mean, even though it won't happen every time, essentially overall, I'm predicting at least probably either 7.5, almost 8 times out of 10. Pretty much most of my efforts during qualifying will respectively be made redundant. And whilst I am talking, I'm also not concentrating on the track either. But anyways. So, ending the second lap as we now move on to our third and final lap of this race. Heading through the tunnel. This car is very much doing quite well to stay aligned the way it is. And the car right now is basically doing everything I want it to. I just want it to stay on the ground, essentially. But anyways, going past the clock tower as I nearly put the guardrail on the inside. Which is essentially what those things are. Considering this is a city course after all. But anyways. So rounding out the final corner onto 
the final straight away and coming across the line now it is two victories for the Camaro and the Corvette has come up just short of victory as surprisingly overall this race has definitely proven to be much closer than it was at Trial Mountain because eventually in the end at Trial Mountain I basically dominated that race but anyways so 18 to me, 12 to the Corvette, 8 currently standing to the Cerbera the DB7 is currently 4th followed closely by both the Viper and the other Camaro who are both in 5th and 6th positions, respectively, up to this point in the championship. So, another 10 grand for winning. And... You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it, why not? Why the hell not? signifies this is part 22 and uh, yeah there we go and so hopefully later on I can officially get myself some decent clickbait so not even gonna bother with qualifying this time because I know for sure I am not going to put this car on the pole especially at high speed ring so instead of just pretty much fucking ranting about that let's just get on with the race as it is now race 3 of 5 high speed ring Just make contact with the server. And she of course is now making contact with me. And also further back there is a viper that is just behind the server. As I make a little bit of contact with the Corvette. And it looks like the Viper is now up into third at the moment. As of which I am notably giving in a slipstream, as I of course am also getting a slipstream off the call of that. And also furthermore, I was not far from switching into fifth gear. And now it looks like the Viper is going to take to the inside and also take the lead in this race. Moment, whilst the Corvette is battling with the TVR. But, anyways, through the tunnel we go. I'm now looking to the lead, entering the final hairpin before we officially start our third and final lap of this race. And it looks like the Viper is battling with the Cerbera. But I really cannot tell who is officially going to win that battle. But again, it looks like the Viper has pretty much become the victim of essentially losing the draft. As the Cerbera is now up into second position at the moment, but he is battling with the Viper. I can see that even from here. And also, well, as for the Corvette, he is dropped back a bit. But anyways, so entering the final hairpin turn, and it is going to be 3 out of 3 wins for both me and my Camaro, and it is 
race win number three. Going to the 30th anniversary edition Chevy Corvette. And it looks as though the Cerbera in the end did manage to eventually beat the Viper, who was eventually third in that race and has officially promoted himself up to fourth now ahead of ahead of the DB7, who is only just a point clear of the Camaro. So basically overall, if I can win the fourth race then I've essentially got this championship secure. Or essentially overall if I can and yeah. I basically need to win the next race in order to be confirmed the champion, essentially. Because well for the Chevy Corvette at the moment, he's currently having a dice with the Cerbera and well as as for the Viper, I don't think he's in contention. Well, not for second or third anyway, but it may have just secured him fourth, considering he did manage to secure himself the podium at high speed ring. But anyways, it is now time for our fourth and the ultimate race of the Anglo sorry, yeah, the Anglo American Sports Car Championship. Here, of course, at Grand Valley East. As I am already past both the normal Camaro and the DB7, I'm already up into fourth now, just behind the Dodge Viper, and it looks like the Cerbera was running wide there. Whilst I, of course, am essentially trying to go defensive. Against the Cerbera, and he is already fighting back. As he's now re overtaken the Viper, and I have a. And I pretty much have a. A piss yellow and red hot Chevy Camaro right on my ass. As I, of course, am currently in fourth after one lap, and already the Cerbera has pretty much overtaken the Corvette. Or maybe he hasn't. No, oh, okay, he has. Well, they're too wide down the straight, and I'm immediately diving straight to the inside whilst the Corvette is battling with the TVR. And it looks like the Corvette is going to stay ahead of the Cerbera on this occasion. Whilst I know very well the Viper is not far behind the TBR. But again, I don't think it's going to be enough to officially make it an All-American podium. Unfortunately. But, for me at least, I am managing to essentially leave this one for America because oddly enough I am driving a Camaro so at the moment of course it is GM that leads TBR GM is also in second General Motors TBR is third, Chrysler is fourth the owners of Dodge Aston Martin, I think, is in fifth. You know, Aston Martin is, or, or even though, although even though Aston Martin during that time was essentially owned by Ford, so yeah. And GM is last. But anyways, four out of four wins for me, and I could very much be on course to going for the perfect 45. And. The Cerbera, in the end of that, eventually finished fourth, officially making it an All-American podium. And we also have a tie for fifth between the Camaro and 
the DB7. So essentially overall, whichever one beats the other officially gets 5th place and whoever finishes behind will essentially be last. But anyways, I have mathematically won the Anglo-American Sports Car Championship with one race to spare. Uh, the Camaro is currently 2nd ahead of the Cerbera. The Viper is currently in 4th ahead of the 2nd Camaro Z28 and then we have the DB7 in last as those two need to settle the score to see who will officially secure 5th for this championship. So another 10 grand for winning and actually no I would save it here I mean even though I, al I already have saved a replay I will probably have to save another one you know because Route 11 but anyways so this is now the fifth and final race of the Anglo-American Sports Car Championship at Special Stage Route 11 and as you may have guessed, I'm not going to bother with qualifying because I know for sure there is going to be at least probably three to four mistakes on that lap because this is such a complicated course. I know for sure that I will not be on pace to get the pole. But if I get lucky, I may just have enough pace to score the perfect 45. So. It looks like the Corvette only needs two points to officially be secure for second and well as for the Cerbera, he basically needs to finish in second or higher in order to secure second. The Viper I would probably say at this point is already secure for fourth and well as for the DB7 and the Camaro, well the ordinary Camaro Z28, they need to settle a score to see who will get 5th. But anyways, am I still going to attempt to get the perfect 45? abso fucking loot -ly. So, it is now time for the 5th and final race of the Anglo-American Sports Car Championship on a track where I of course am more likely to lose than win and already I have made contact with the Camaro who does manage to give me a nudge whilst the DB7 at the moment is was currently battling there with the Viper before I just ploughed into the back of the Dodge it is now battling for second with the Cerbera. And it looks like the Viper could very much be past the Cerbera by this point. And indeed he is. So the Cerbera has now fallen back to third. And well, as for me, I of course and now up into second position. Whilst I know very well that I am still going to go for the perfect 45 points, because essentially that is just my nature, and also because I feel like, well, I just want to. There's no other reason for it, I just want to. But anyways. So both myself and the Viper are probably pulling ahead of both the Cerbera and the Corvette at this point. As we now come through to complete our first laps respectively, Chrysler currently leading GM, TVR is third, followed by GM in fourth, and then it is pretty much Forward in fifth, and I just plowed into the wall. And GM is currently last.
So I of course have now taken the lead in this race ahead of the Viper who is currently running in second. Then it is the Cerbera in third, followed by the Corvette, who is currently fourth. And then at the back we have the DB7 and the ordinary Camaro Z28. Both in fifth and sixth places respectively. The last of these six runners essentially. So just had a little bounce there since I made contact with the wall but thankfully at least since I'm already clear of the Viper at this point I know very well that essentially any light contact I essentially make with a barrier it won't really affect me that much as long as I know very well I don't spin the car and that's precisely what I've done. And now surprisingly the DB7 is up into third and I just spun up the hat and, and the Corvette is giving me a push. Even though he is just trying to get past me, I will not allow him. And it looks like I have just lost my chance on officially securing victory because I did what I did not want to do and that was spin the car as I of course am now overtaken by the Camaro and now of course at this point it looks like I need to pull off a miracle as I once again plow myself into the wall and still making contact with the walls isn't always necessary to do this but again I am still fighting to see if I can reclaim the win but for the moment it doesn't look like it although then again I would be perfectly happy to accept second but again because this is such a long track as well I think this is pretty much the longest track in the game as far as I know Essentially overall, I am basically just doing this because I want to, but anyways. So I'm now back up into the lead and I need to remember to not repeat the same mistake I made before. And this time I do not. As we are now heading up towards the final chicane, before the final corner, here at Special Stage, Route 11. As it is going to be 5 out of 5 wins for the Camaro. And with that, a perfect score to add on to the positives. So, I won that race by 1 second ahead of the Viper. The Cerbera eventually finished in third, and then it was the DB7 ahead of the Corvette, and the Camaro finished that race in last. So I have once again won this championship by quite some margin over the Corvette to the second. So it is a perfect 45 points to me. 23 points to the Corvette, 21 to the TBR Cerbera. An eventual but well earned, but well earned 18 points for the Viper. The DB7 eventually finished in 5th with 10 points. And the Chevy Camaro Z28, the official one, was last with 8 points. So 45, 23, 21, 18. 10 and 8 are your final point standings for the Anglo-American Sports Car Championship. So there we go. Also another new record set as we of course are now up to 80 grand. And now of course we are officially going to collect our winnings. But 
I have officially decided in the end that well, you know what? I think I think I'm going to I think I'm just going to get rid of this previous replay I saved and replace it with this one because essentially overall most of the replays I've been saving have essentially been at Route 5, so, you know, I might as well see if I can save a replay at uh, Route 11 instead. Because obviously, I dare to be different. But anyways, 20 grand for winning the championship, as we are now back up to 100 grand. And also, we get the trophy, displaying we are the champions. And we also get a new machine as well, which also means a new car. Since there are two prize cars we can officially win from this event, I wonder which one of those two we are officially going to win first. We shall just have to wait and see. Just checking to see if my microphone's on, but anyways. So having a look, and this is the first prize car we win from the Anglo-American Sports Car Championship, a Mazda RX-7 A-Spec LM edition, very nice, and there is another car we can win from this, and I do believe that is the Dodge Concept Car LM edition that we essentially win from this championship, officially as the other car anyway. But yeah, so that is the first prize car we win. And so I am now going to save the game and officially see how many attempts it would take me to win the concept car LM edition. So let's head back over to the championship and see, of course, if we can officially repeat the perfect score that we managed to get on our first run. We have returned, of course, to the championship for what is now officially my fourth attempt of doing this. And, of course, as you can see up there, like I have done with the other three attempts, I have basically scored a perfect 45 points and also 15 clear of the TBR Cerbera this time, who eventually finished second in every race, scoring a perfect 30 points. The Aston Martin DB7 Coupe in this championship eventually finished in third, with the other Chevy Camaro eventually finishing fourth with 15 points. Then we had the DB7 Volante in fifth with 11 points, and at the back was the... Dodge concept car with a with a very consistent but also very lowly five points. So 45 points to me, 30 to the Cerbera, 19 to the DB7 Coupe, 15 to the Camaro Z28, 11 to the DB7 Volante, and five to the Dodge concept car, realistically known as the Dodge Copperhead. Also, furthermore, I have set a new race record by, I think, less than 7 seconds, but anyways. So, 10 grand for winning. Hopefully, this time, we can now become successful in claiming the Copperhead. And if we are not, then I will be very much depressed. So anyways, 334 grand. Now, so anyone asking, you usually would expect me to have more money than this, but, well, the reason I don't is essentially because, well, I loaded the game up again from what it was before I did the championship on this attempt, and I believe it's possible this time I will be given the correct machine. I've got my fingers crossed. And so, hopefully this time, we will win the Copperhead. Because if we don't, I will be very pissed off and upset. Anyways. 
Just keeping my fingers crossed. There we go. And it only took me, and it only took me four tries to get this car. But here it is. The Dodge Concept Car LM Edition. Realistically known as, as I've said before, the copper hat. But yeah, I know this may not look like it, but this is the Dodge Copperhead LM edition. Even though obviously this isn't the one from GT2, because obviously, you know, that has a wing, but anyways. Yeah, so this is the other prize car we win from the Anglo-American Sports Car Championship. The Dodge Concept car. And I finally won it. And it only took me four tries to get this car, but we've done it. And now, of course, I can happily save this game, knowing that officially all three of the regional championships are complete. And well, next up, we are basically going to need all the money we can get. And I've probably got just about the perfect amount. But anyways... So yeah, there we go. That was the Anglo-American Sports Car Championship. Next up is the Mega Speed Cup. And will we score a perfect 27 points? I wouldn't think so, but we, we will just have to wait and see. But until then, stay tuned for more GT1.